In the 1960s, Roger Brown and his colleagues systematically observed and recorded three children known as Adam, Eve, and Sarah. A product of their research was a list of closed-class morphemes that all three children had learned. The list became known as Brown's 14 morphemes. Since the 1960s, we have come to realize that Brown's list only skims the surface of grammatical development. To understand this, let's consider the possessive morpheme, number six of Brown's list. Here's an example. One day the dinosaur eat mommy's snacks. Possessives have three parts. The possessor occupies a syntactic position over the possessed, and the possessive morpheme intervenes between the two. The entire construction is one type of determiner phrase. The possessive morpheme itself is a determiner. And the possessive isn't alone. The articles a uh and the, number eight on the list, are also determiners. However, when they appear, the possessor phrase is eliminated. The articles in possessive are not learned in isolation. They are part of a larger set that includes the demonstrative pronouns, this, that, these, and those, and the possessive pronouns, my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. Toddlers learn these determiners at exactly the same time as the articles and possessive. Roger Brown was a pioneer. However, his list of 14 morphemes is but a starting point in understanding how toddlers learn richly detailed grammatical systems like determiner phrase. And as we gain a more global perspective, we have come to understand that although languages like English and Mandarin differ in their inventories of determiners, children across the world develop determiner phrase and other grammatical systems in the same way and at the same time. So that, by their fourth birthday, they are truly proficient speakers of their native language.